This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt this installation. Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel and today I'm going to show you how to wire a four-way switch system. <laughs> See, a four-way switch system is one that has three different switches and say you have three entrances to your great room or a, any kind of room and you want to switch on each one of the entrances. So you walk in one entrance and you walk out this entrance and, and it turns off and you walk in over here, it turns on and you leave over here and it turns off and so forth. So this is a four-way switch system and let's show you how to wire this four-way switch system. So first, let's go over the cabling for this four-way switch system. Now this is the cable that brings the electrical energy into the box. This is a 12-2 with ground cable. We have two conductors, the black hot and the white neutral, and a ground wire, so that's a 12-2 with ground. And then going from the first switch box, which by the way, this is the first switch box, and this will be the middle switch box, and this is the switch box that has the cable that goes to the light. You see, this cable is called the line cable because it brings the electrical energy into the system. And this is called the load cable because it feeds the load, which is the light. So the second cable is the one that goes from the first switch box to the middle switch box. And that's this one right here. It's a 12-3 with ground, which means there's three conductors. We have the white neutral and the red and the black hot wires and the ground wire and it comes out over here in the middle box and these red and black wires are called traveler wires so that will be very important to our system and we'll be going over that in a little bit so we have a 12-3 with ground going from the first box to the middle box and now we once again have a 12-3 with ground going from the middle box to the last box and this can be a, a fairly great distance, maybe 10 to 20 feet, something like that. I have put them very close together to increase visibility for you so that hopefully this is going to be easier for you to follow as opposed to you know, going 10 feet from this box to this box and 15 feet to this box or something like that. So on the third box, we have the 12-3 with ground coming over from the middle box to the last box. And then we have the load cable, which is a 12-2 with ground going to the line. So we have the line cable coming in. We got traveler cable going from the first box to the second box. We have traveler cable going from the second box to the third box. And we have the load cable going to the line. And then these green wires here are bonding wires that are used when you have metal boxes and it will bond these metal boxes to the grounding system of the house. These boxes are called four inch square boxes and I have what we call mud rings that will be going over the wire. Each of these mud rings are five eighths of an inch in width and you would use them for five eighths inch drywall. See I have them four inch square boxes flush with the studs and then you put on the mud rings and secure the switches to the mud rings and then you'd use 5 8 inch drywall. For the switches we have a three-way switch which is going into the first position right here into the first box. That'll be a three-way switch and then we have a four-way switch that goes in the middle and we have a three-way switch that goes on the end box. And so that's the way it goes. If you had more than three switches, then all the middle switches would be four-way switches. So you could have maybe six of these switches. You would still have a three-way switch on the box where the power comes into the system. And you'd have a three-way switch where the power goes in a switched manner to the light. And the rest of the switches would be the four-way switches. Luckily for us, each of these switches says top on the top. So you simply put the switches in the box with the top up. Before we get started, I'd like to do a couple quick tests. For the first one, I'm going to put wire connectors over all the wires in the first box for safety. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and flip on the circuit breaker. Then I'm going to use my Fluke 1AC voltage sensor to test the wire that I had identified as the line wire and make sure it is indeed hot. So, so this is our line cable right here. And then the second test, I just like to test for voltage, make sure we got a good voltage before we get started. I think that makes sense to make a test like that. So I'm putting my lead, this is my Fluke 117 electrician's meter. I'm putting my leads right into these Wago lever nuts. See, I put the Wago lever nuts over all the wires for safety. And, but you can also just put it right in there. And we've got 119 volts AC. So uh, that's a good test. And then we can also test out the ground. I got, I got the lead on the ground wire right now, 119 volts there too. So we have an excellent voltage between the hot and the neutral, and we have an excellent uh, return path to ground because it shows the same voltage when the leads are put across the ground and the hot. I have turned the circuit breaker off, and now I'm going to test the hot wire to make sure that it's no longer hot. And I'll use my meter as well. So we show zero volts with the circuit breaker off and we're not showing uh, this to be live so we're good to go we're ready to start our project so we're going to be installing a three-way switch in this first box let me show you what a three-way switch looks like okay this is the black common screw right here and your hot wire is going to go to the common screw and then these are two uh, brass colored terminals and with the top up where it says top up we're going to put the red traveler wire right here and we're going to put the black traveler wire right here and the ground is going to go here so this is what a three-way switch looks like you got one common terminal two brass terminals and a green grounding terminal. The next switch over is going to be the four-way switch and you start with the top up and see you see you have two black terminals. The black terminals say in on them. So we're going to be going into the black terminals and once again I'm going to be putting the red wire here and the black wire here. Over here we got these two traveler wires and once again I'm going to be putting the red wire here and the black wire here. So this is what a four-way switch looks like. This is what a three-way switch looks like. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the grounds together on our first box. So here's the ground that's coming up from the power cable. We call the line cable. And here's the ground that goes to the box, the bonding wire actually. And here's the ground wire that comes from the 12-3 with ground. It's right in there. And then I have prepared a pigtail, which we're going to put right in here. And this is going to go to the device. Okay. So watch how I do this. A lot of people have asked about this. I'm going to push this in like this. I'm going to push this down like this. Okay. Put that in the back of the box. And here we have the pigtail ready to go to the ground terminal. See, with the writing top up top, you have the ground terminal on the bottom. So I have this ground terminal right here ready to go. We have the black wire right here ready to go to the common terminal but first we're going to get the neutrals together so I have a two connector Wago lever nut and we're going to put that together just like that put it all the way in I'll push that right into the back of the box see with this particular switch we don't need a neutral the bronze terminals are for the traveler wires and the black common terminal is for the hot wire. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the ground wire around the 
green grounding terminal and tighten it down securely. The next thing I'm going to do is take the line wire, the hot wire, and we're going to put it to the black common terminal. And we're going to tighten it down securely. Okay, so here's our two traveler wires. The red traveler wire, this is the way I do it personally. All red traveler wires go to the top bronze terminal. It's that simple. It's really not complicated. And I would advise you to do it the same way every time. So here's the red traveler wire going to the top bronze terminal. Here's the black traveler wire. And it's going to the bottom bronze terminal. Okay, we're going to leave that there and we're going to go over the whole thing before we put the mud rings on. And now for the four-way switch. The four-way switch has two in terminals and two out terminals. This is a five conductor Wago lever nut. We're going to go ahead and put the bonding wire in there. And then this is the grounding wire coming over from the first box. And this is the grounding wire going to the next box. And this is a pigtail that I've prepared that will go to the device. Put that right in there, put that down. Okay, so once again, the ground terminal is going to be down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire and push it in like that. And then I'm going to push the wire connector down here on the bottom. Give that another push. Okay, so this is ready to go for our device right here, our ground wire. Our four-way switch, once again, does not use a neutral. So we're going to take the two neutrals and connect them together. That's one. That's two. And we're going to put them in the back of the box. So the four-way switch has two black in terminals which we're going to be putting the red traveler wire from the first box and the black traveler wire from the first box here and here. The red is always going to go on top. All the way across here, the red is going on the top. All the way across, the black is going on the bottom. That's just me personally. That's the way I do it. And I suggest you do it the same way every time, like throughout a house. If you do several of these uh, three-way and four-way switches, do it the same way each time. The switches will operate the same way for the occupants. And also, if you have to go back and fix something, if you take it apart and you see the black wires on top, then you know someone messed with it. So you see how, how I have this set up here. I have the green ground wire ready to go to the green grounding terminal. I have the, uh, the black wires on the bottom. That's where they're going to go. I have the red wires on the top. So it's all ready to hook up. It's easy that way. The green grounding wire goes to the green grounding terminal. All right. So we have the black traveler wire from the first box going to the lower black terminal. Okay, now we have the red traveler wire from the first box going to the upper black terminal. These are labeled the in terminals. They're labeled right on the switches as in. <clears throat> Okay, now, we'll be putting the black travel wire that goes over to the last box on the lower bronze terminal. Okay, it goes right there like that. The red travel wire that goes from this box to this box goes on the upper bronze terminal. You don't want the insulation going under the terminal. You don't want any 
copper wire showing. Okay. All right, so we're wired on the four-way switch. I'm going to be getting the grounds together. We have the ground that goes over to the other box, the middle box, and we have the bonding wire right there. And this is the ground that goes to the light. I'm going to put that in right there. And then I have prepared a pigtail that will go to the switch. I'll put that right in there like that. And then this goes down here. You see, and then this comes right out like that. So that's ready to go for our device down below where it needs to be. On our three-way switch, there is no need for a neutral. We're going to just hook these two neutrals up. This is a neutral that goes to the light. This is a neutral that came over from the other box. So, click them together. And like that. Put them in the back of the box. The red in my system is going on the top. The black is going on the bottom. And this is going to the black common terminal. Okay, so we're going to take the ground wire, put it around the terminal in a clockwise manner and we'll tighten it down real nicely and now I'm going to take the load wire that goes to the light and tighten down, that down very nicely the red traveler wire will go to the upper bronze terminal the black traveler wire will go to the lower bronze terminal before I put on the mud rings let's go over this and I'll show you everything. Okay, in this box, this is where the power comes into the system, right here. We have the line wire going to the black common terminal. The grounds, of course, all get hooked together and they all go to the green terminals. The neutral wires just got hooked together and they went in the back of the box. I did the same manner, the same way, all throughout. I put the red traveler wire to the top bronze color terminal. I put the black traveler wire to the lower bronze terminal. And then we're going over here with a 12-3 with ground. I put the red wire to the black in terminal. I put the black wire to the black in terminal. These are the traveler wires that go over to this box right here. And they, they correspond you turn it like this and they'll correspond. It's the same set of wires. This is this wire. It's the same wire. Okay, so I got the red traveler wire to the upper bronze colored terminal. The black traveler wire to the lower bronze colored terminal. And then over here, I got the same wire. Okay, so this goes to the upper bronze terminal and the black, which is this wire right here, same wire goes to the lower bronze terminal. Over here, we have the load wire. This is the one that goes to the light right here. Okay, so we got load, line, red traveler, red traveler, red traveler. Black Traveler, Black Traveler, Black Traveler. Three-way switch, three-way switch, four-way switch. So now I'm going to take some black electrician's tape and I'm going to go around all three of these switches for safety. I've put the backing plates on for the screwless wall plates and you just put these on like that. That's one. Two, three. All right, let's turn on the circuit breaker and find out how we did. There we go, it turns right on, and right here, it turns off. So say you walk into the room over here, you turn it on, you walk over here, you turn it off, and exit the room, you come into this entrance next time, you turn it on, you go over here, you exit the room, you turn it off. So any combination, will operate the four-way switch system. Now you can have one light or many lights on the system 
and it'll still work the same way. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 1AC voltage detector, the Fluke 117 electrician's meter, the new Klein five-piece insulated tool set, and for all the individual tools, I'll put a link for the DeWalt cable stapler, the Klein 8-inch fan, Leviton spec grade three and four-way switches, and for Wago lever nuts. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.